Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we will see uh, high availability active passive mode, where you know we are going to put two firewalls in redundancy, so that in the case of failure, you know uh, our network should not go down. So how it is going to look like? Uh, we will have active firewall, right? One firewall will be active. Another firewall will be passive. or you can say it will be standby firewall right so we'll go with active passive or you can call it passive right so whichever is active only that particular firewall will do the data processing standby will remain in standby mode once the active firewall is going to fail then only it is going to do the processing okay so uh, it will have have the exact same replica of the configuration so to build active passive we need uh, two interfaces connected that is ha1 and ha2 interface so ha1 is used for uh, synchronization of control plane right so heartbeats and all that travels on ha1 interface and ha2 is used for session synchronization uh, between the firewalls now to build ha your operating system should be same your platform or hardware should be same right your databases of uh, url and other stuff should be same right otherwise you will get warnings for any mismatch right app signatures your thread signatures everything should be same so now let's begin our uh, configuration so what you need to do is uh, in our topology you can see we have spin up two firewalls and here you can see we have connected back to back uh, three interfaces so this third interface is for active active mode where third link will be used for data forwarding in in that case both firewalls will be like active firewalls right now we are going with active passive right so one is active another one is standby so we'll keep this interface connected because in later deployment we would need it right so this is our firewall 1 this is our firewall 2 let me log in into this firewall so let's provide the username let's provide the uh, password and we will start with our configuration on this particular firewall so you need to go to device and you need to go to uh, high availability in general section you need to click this gear action then just click enable just give it a group id it could be anything uh, you know between 1 to uh, uh, the number is written uh, 1 to 63 so let's give it like 10 uh, if you want to give description you can give then you need to select the mode active passive or active active so we are going with active passive then enable configuration sync now peer ha1 ip address will be 1.1.1.2 and backup peer ha1 ip address will be the management interface we will keep as backup right so if heartbeat Uh, we lose the habit you know then both the firewalls will become active active and this is the common split brain situation you know we face in production environment so just to avoid that we create backup interface you know the management interface as backup for the heartbeats in case primary goes down okay so then uh, active passive settings so how you want to keep your passive link state shut down or auto so i i just want to keep it shut down shut down means they will uh, be shut down they will not participate in uh, l2 uh, you know uh, app learnings and app forwarding stuff in auto they will uh, participate but they will not process any traffic right so we will keep it shut down and uh, the moment failover will be trigger these interfaces will become uh, enabled right then election settings which firewall you want always be uh, you know uh, active so the device with less priority you know the less priority number i mean if you keep if you define uh, 10 here so this will be given more preference with the device with high priority number right so let's give 100 preemption means if any failover event triggers and this device goes down and standby has become uh, the active or passive has become the active once this device will be restored so again it will take care you know take control back it will become active this is what preemption means so preemptive uh, election setting you can 
create the checkbox. I mean, you can tick the checkbox. Then heartbeat backup, yes, we would like to have it. And HA timer settings, go with the recommendations. Aggressive advanced, these are the options. Always go with the recommended uh, timer settings. For more details on these timer settings, you know, we have the course available, advanced troubleshooting course. You can enroll for that to understand the actual process in the backend. Then uh, SSH HA profile setting is not required at this point of time. Then uh, we can just go to HA communication and here we are going to define the uh, you know communication. So if you can see that we have four, five and six interface, right? So four we will be using for HA1. Right, so let's pick four here and uh, IP address of that uh, interface will be 1.1.1 netmask 255.255.252. There is no need to give uh, gateway, right? And just click OK. Then HA1 backup is going to be my management interface, right? So just create, uh, select management interface and then data link that is my HA2 right so ha2 will be my uh, so you need to first enable this session synchronization and my interface will be one by five okay and uh, these interfaces uh, another thing these interfaces interfaces will only available in your ha configuration when you define the ha type let's say ha ethernet one by six is not reflecting there because you know interface type is not defined so the moment I will make it HA, it will be available to, uh, you know, configure it. So this is how it is done in VM series. In physical firewalls, we have dedicated ports available and uh, the entry level firewall like PA 200, 220, you know, they uh, support uh, HA Lite, not the complete functionality and they don't have dedicated ports. But if you go to mid series and higher end chassis, they have the dedicated HA1 and HA2 ports. So in that case, you need not to do these stuffs which you are doing in VM. Okay. So now you will see that we will get Ethernet 1 by 6 as well. So for data synchronization, we will use Ethernet 1 by 5. My IP address is going to be 2.1.1.1. Uh, Netmask gateway transport uh, now you can decide ethernet ip udp so these are the transport methods available for data synchronization so we are going with uh, l2 right you can go with ip as well layer 3 and ha2 keep alive so you can uh, select the action as log only or split data path right so we are going with log only then ha2 backup if you want to define i mean configure it's up to you so it is not going to create any split brain situation for us so we are avoiding it right then packet forwarding will be enabled when you go with active active mode now comes your link and path monitoring right so link monitoring yes we are doing it failure condition is going to be the any so if any of the interfaces fails or something like that so you can trigger the failover so let's give it a name interface group right enabled any any interface fails let's trigger the failover so these are my data interfaces if any one of them fails let's trigger the failover right so failure condition is any and if you keep it all it means if all interfaces fail then only failover uh, in you know event will be triggered Similarly path monitoring. So if you want to monitor the path, right, you can apply it. You can add the virtual wire path. You can add VLAN path, right, or you can add virtual router path. So we are going to add virtual router path. You can give it a name, uh, path monitoring, enabled any default router. Uh, failure condition any ping interval is this destination IP group so you can define your group so destination IP we are going to ping is 8.8 .8, right 4.2.2.2 right enabled failure condition any IP group is like uh, Google servers okay 
and that's it so if any ping fails to these servers you know then it will trigger the failover so we are dependent on the virtual router paths so if we lose the connectivity to these uh, ip addresses from outside interface it will trigger the failover similarly you can add vlan path and virtual wire path okay so let's do commit okay meanwhile this commit is going on let's go back to our standby firewall and start the configuration here so you can just go to device and uh, you can go to high availability and uh, here you can just select uh, you know just keep it like that so that you can see the configuration what configuration you have done so click this enable so group we have defined 10 so give it 10 active passive config sync here ha1 ip address is going to be 1.1.1 backup is going to be 192.168.1. peer ip right so peer ip is 1.10 so i made the mistake there here it should be 1.2 so let me see if that commit has failed reason yeah so this IP address was wrong so it should be this so I mean you know just be cautious when you are applying these IP addresses okay so it is done then shut down whole time one minute uh, device priority so we will give this pro device as 200 and primitive heartbeat backup recommended then just go to ha communications ha1 control link is going to be ethernet 1 by 4 right and uh, ip address so 1.1.1 so let's define 1.1.2 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
already having configuration so it was in HA before so let's remove this interface type as HA rest of these settings will automatically take effect right and you know this will become automatically HA so just do the commit and uh, in this firewall if your commit is successful yeah this time it's successful you can go to dashboard in widget system high availability is already there right so here you can see high availability this local device is active peer we have not defined i mean we have not detected it running config unknown app version threat version so all these things should be green you know when building the ha so let's wait for this commit to get successfully applied and here also we can pull the statistics of the high availability so ha not enabled so let's wait for this and once the HA will come up then synchronization will take place right the config will be pushed from active to passive device both the devices will have same sort of configuration and if there is app or thread version mismatch so you need to resolve that problem okay so that your HA is synchronized properly and then we will do the failover testing so it is almost done 75 98 so now the initialization process will start automatically and then you will see HA1 interface coming up backup coming up HA2 coming up right and then it will try to sync these versions so <clears throat> you can see interfaces are up uh, running config is not synchronized right so you have to be very cautious when you click on this so if you are doing it from active or if you are doing it from passive i have seen i have seen people synchronizing passive configuration on active box so generally what happens uh, you know when your production box goes down let's say this active firewall is down and your passive has become active right and now you are keep uh, replacing your uh, primary firewall with rma box and you build the ha that box was not having any sort of configuration only he configuration and then by mistake you click here synchronize to peer so what happens that blank configuration gets synchronized here and in that case complete outage in your network right so now you can see uh, almost everything is done peer is passive local is active but there is a mismatch on antivirus threat app so we can do one thing uh, first of all we can synchronize the running configuration from the active box towards the passive and meanwhile i can just go to device and i can check for the dynamic updates and then you know update the signatures to the latest versions otherwise i will keep on getting those uh, you know mismatch errors so when you initiate this sync to peer in task you can see uh, whether it has started the sync or not so you can click here so it is giving you warning are you sure you want to override the running configuration right of this device yes we are sure so HA synchronization is already in progress so it is already in progress synchronization in progress so let's wait for a second and uh, meanwhile let me verify the database version of app and thread signatures so if we go here antivirus is 4889 4889 this one so just download So do not sync from passive towards active. You know, just make this your habit that you are not going to sync configuration from passive device to your active. And another thing is when you are doing RMA, 
so you need to make sure that you are not pushing the blank configuration on your active box otherwise it will be complete outage so meanwhile this download is in process this one is 7870 7870 so it is already downloaded here so we can click on install So the sync. So the configuration is synchronized now, and uh, <clears throat> you can see this firewall is passive. And in task, you can see synchronization is taking place. Then download is also there. Then content installation is queued, right? So synchronization failed. The reason no valid DNS security license this is the warning warning so I need to check why this has failed meanwhile we can check the configuration so you can see these are the standby interfaces now <clears throat> and 6 has become HA right and these two are green okay this is good zones you can see uh, DMZ trust untrust then you can verify the zone protection profile so today we have created this uh, prod profile it has received it then you can check your policy set so you can see that your policies are like app based rule internet access web server default and DOS just previous lecture we created the DOS profile so now we can see that almost we have received the configuration so that failure message might come due to this dynamic update right because uh, your HAPR also tries to synchronize these things you know and we initiated manually so sometimes it happens so let me just install this because you can see rest of the things are getting automatically sync uh, 2 to 7 if you see here 2 to 7 is installed then device dictionary 376 was installed 376 was installed so you know it tries to uh, do the sync up on the uh, databases as well so we initiated the uh, you know content installation and download manually so it got failed so we should have waited for this synchronization to complete then this error would have gone automatically you know mismatch mismatch but no no worries let's wait for this installation to complete and then we will do the failover scenarios so i'm pausing the video i'll resume it once it is done Okay, so uh, the database synchronization for app and thread is not working reason being that uh, you know the current installed version is very old and uh, you know whenever we're trying to install it it is failing again and again so either uh, I need to clean up the database from the CLI right and then install the uh, fresh ones so I tried with couple of signature versions but it is not happening all of them are failing so we can skip this part i mean uh, although it is not going to affect anything but yeah any rule with the app signatures and all that stuff can have impact so we will uh, in the back end i will do this right meanwhile uh, you can see this file is active uh, this firewall is active the peer is passive and if you go to cli now you can see active in front of your active firewall Right. So in the next lecture, we will see how to do uh, failovers and uh, how you can upgrade your pan OS, you know, uh, when your device are in HA, what, what is the process we need to uh, follow. And if you want to check which particular firewall is taking, I mean, is carrying your data. So you can just simply take the uh, control 
of your Windows machine and you can initiate the ping. And if you go to monitor logs, just have source as 10.2.2.7. So you can see ping application. So latest logs and ping application is being processed by active firewall okay this is your active firewall now you can see more logs coming in and if you go to dashboard this is the active this is passive and the continuous ping is in process so what you can do if you want to do failover so you just go to device setup operations uh, sorry High availability operational commands and you can uh, suspend local device for high availability if you do that right so you have suspended this device from the HA and now you can see the status what is going to happen so this local has been suspended and peer has become active right so if you refresh this local has become the PR one I mean which was passive it has become active now and if you see the packet loss so we just had one or two packet loss that's it you know and if you go back and if you turn on the HA again make local device functional so if you do that then it is initializing since we have uh, configured the preemption so it will become active again and this local will become passive so you can just do one thing i mean you can initiate the ping again just to see how many packet drops we notice so you know there are timers so it will take time to become active so local is active peer is passive so let's have a look so hold timer is of 15 seconds and right after that it will become active And meanwhile, if you check the packet loss, there is no packet loss, right? <clears throat> and there is a document available from the Palo Alto as well, you know, so where you can see the timing. So now you can see it is active, this is passive, and we have also seen request timeout one request timeout is there so by default in uh, recommended you know the uh, preemption time is one minute so that's the reason it has taken one minute right so this is how HA works so thanks for watching this video in next step in next lecture we will see how to upgrade firewalls in HA and then we will try to uh, simulate certain uh, use cases so that auto failover can be done Right, like we will shut down the interfaces, one of the interface which is being monitored in the HA and we will see whether the sessions are being replicated or not, right? We will see uh, if connection will be reset or not. So these things we will try and check it out. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.